Hey there, how are you doing? Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is Ash from Fetch Profits. If you have anything to do with managing multiple Facebook properties such as your Facebook brand page, Facebook ad account, Instagram brand account, Instagram ad account and WhatsApp, you will find yourself normally as most people do logging into your personal account as shown on the screen then clicking around and trying to find where your page is or which page you need to manage or separately logging into Instagram account or checking your messages on WhatsApp or checking your Facebook messenger messages. All of this consumes a whole lot of time which you can save and also get access to lots of other features and tools that you have access to by using what is called as the Meta Business Suite. You can get access to Meta Business Suite by going to this URL called business.facebook.com which requires your personal Facebook login credentials but you will be asked to authenticate yourself by using Google Authenticator or some other kind of authentication such as them sending you a message that you will need to input a code to authenticate yourself but once you do that you will be able to log into what is called as meta business suite which you can see on the screen right now the home page of your of your meta business suite looks somewhat like this and this is where you will get access to all the features and the tools and admin privileges that you have when you're managing multiple brand properties. So whether you are a single business owner managing a single brand or whether you're a single business owner managing multiple brands or if you are a social media manager, in-house social media manager or a digital marketing agency, Meta Business Suite is what you need to use to be able to manage multiple brands or even a single brand. Soon after you log into Meta Business Suite, the first thing you would have to do is to claim ownership of your existing brand assets such as your Facebook page, your Instagram brand account, your Facebook ad account or your Instagram ad account or your WhatsApp and to do that get to the left side panel and you will see your regularly used features here that you could click on and experiment and browse but we are not getting into that at the moment we are just going to get down to the bottom side of the panel click on settings once you click on settings you will notice a secondary panel showing up and here you click on business assets to the far right corner click on add assets and you'll be presented with options as to what you want to do with your account at the moment. Let's take the example of adding a Facebook brand page or a Facebook business page as it's called. So click on Facebook page here and you will be presented with three options. The first one is to create a new page. This is the option for you if you want to create a new page to start with. The second one is what I want to emphasize on which is to claim an existing Facebook page. You would have to claim your existing page if you have admin access. Please note that you would need admin access or you should be the owner of this page to be able to claim your existing Facebook page. So click on claim an existing page. Enter the name of the brand page here which in my case is Wedge Profits and a drop down will show up where you will have that option of selecting that. Now if you don't get it for some reason then you would just need to copy and paste the Facebook page URL here and you will get the same option and then proceed further and claim your ownership. Now you'd have to repeat this process for as many Facebook pages and brands that you would need to add. The process is the same for Instagram brand pages as well. All you need to do is click on add assets, go to Instagram account here, agree to terms and conditions and proceed with the visit that will help you claim ownership of your Instagram brand page. Process is also similar to ad accounts which you will have to create if you haven't created one before and if you already have one then you would need to claim that ownership of ad accounts. And please do note that you might have to note down the ad account ID to be able to claim your ad accounts. So the first step of using Meta Business Suite for each brand is to be able to claim ownership of all of the properties associated with that brand. If you have multiple brands like shown in the left side panel here, you will have to repeat the process for each of these brands. Meta Business Suite also has several other features. You get an overview of that right here. You also have access to full featured ads manager. You have access to custom audiences, regular audiences and all sorts of even that you could manage which also includes your Facebook pixel to begin with. You also have access to instant forms which are used for Facebook lead ad campaigns. You obviously have access to planner that you can plan your content out to distribute and schedule your content on Facebook, Instagram and elsewhere. You can also create posts and stories and use video tools or go live from right inside here and several other tools that we will talk about in the future videos. Please stay tuned and stay subscribed but this is what Meta Business Suite looks like and I hope you find this video useful if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me this is ash from fest profits signing out